from the United States of America. We are the Amateur Radio Newsline, heard on bulletin stations around the world, including the W4DUX repeater, serving Port Charlotte, Florida. An Alabama amateur radio operator's weekend trek into a national forest turns into an experience he and members of one family won't soon forget. Rex Free, KN4CI, had no idea he was in for a bloody scene that would lead to a storybook happy ending. As Amateur Radio Newsline's David Black, KV4KCH, reports from our Southeastern Bureau, the entire episode depended on amateur radio. Thanksgiving weekend was the perfect time for Rex Free and two fellow hikers to set out exploring North Alabama's Bankhead National Forest. It's something Free and his friends have done many times before, but the scene they ran across this time left them stunned. We were in the middle of Sipsy Wilderness area, probably about three miles from the uh, vehicle, exploring bluffs and looking at tree carvings and stuff, and all of a sudden, Wham! We come up on a full-size horse with blood on it, dragging a saddle. And so we're like, okay. (laughs) There's no one around, and with no cell phone coverage, no one to call. After we got the saddle off, uh, we started thinking, there could be a person around here that hurt. There could be a body around here. Uh, We didn't know how to handle uh, what, what to think of it. So we had to scope the area out and try to find somebody. And we didn't see anybody, thank goodness. As a frequent visitor to the forest, Free always takes his amateur radio handy talkie with him. He uses the Bankhead Amateur Radio Club's repeater and asks a monitoring ham to notify law enforcement. Free learns that the horse named Joe Dirt had been reported missing more than three weeks earlier by owner Pam Cohn. I was devastated. I was so worried that something had happened that to hurt him and he was out there hurt and there was nothing I could do to help him. It will be the next day before the animal can be rescued. In the meantime, Free uses ham radio to communicate with the owners. At the campsite at night, we were uh, relaying traffic to the owners of what they needed to bring in to get the horse, what condition the horse was in, uh, what, you know, the saddle was destroyed, uh, and details that they needed to know. The following morning, Pamela and the horse she named Joe Dirt, because he loves to roll in the dirt, are reunited. I never thought I'd see him again, and then there he was standing there. I couldn't get to him fast enough just to touch him. You know, it was just a, it was such a high that you can't explain, and um, just to know that he was okay. Joe Dirt's rescue brings a happy end to Pam Cohn's emotional roller coaster ride, and she's thankful, too, for the key role Free and his fellow hams played. They are a blessing. They are They're my heroes. I I, I just, I don't even know how to thank them for what they've done. As for Joe Dirt, he's home, happy, and doing well, rolling in the dirt as he loves to do. From the Southeast Bureau in Birmingham, Alabama, I'm David Black, KB4KCH for the Amateur Radio Newsline. Joe Dirt appears to have followed the same advice hikers are given about what to do if they get lost, which is just to stay put. Rescuers say that by doing that and the fact that he was found by ham radio operators with communications capability are the likely reasons he survived.